Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us today. Today I'm going to be taking you through some shoulder mobility exercises. My name is Manisha and I work at the Disco Cow Bus. Before we start, just get your mat ready. You can do this in your socks. Just make sure your clothes are nice and comfortable for stretching. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna go straight in to my top eight exercises for shoulder mobility. Our well, first exercise, we're going to go on top knees, hands down, and we're going to do shoulder shrugs. We're going to do ten of those. So shoulders up and back down. Okay, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. circles so we're going to go down and what we're doing is so I'll show you from the front we're taking our shoulders up and backwards get some making circles with them there we go so getting your feet nice and flat on the floor you should feel that rotation five four three two and one What we're going to do is we're just going to put our arms up, our arms in front of us, and all we're going to do is just lean right back, back into that child's pose, put those arms there, and just press them down. Keeping the shoulders down, you should feel that in the back of the scapula. We're going to hold for another 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exercise. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with our knees, hands out in front of us, and then we're going to come up onto our legs. So knees off the floor, and just press those hands right. Feel okay. those arms nice and straight. Press right down. There we go. Leg down. Going to hold up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Back into the back. Our next stretch is going to be child's pose under reach. So we're going to go back into child's pose, hands and knee, palms in front. What we're doing with the opposite hand, we're going to slide you right through and just feel that stretch. You should feel if the hand has just gone under, you should feel that stretch on that side. Okay, we stretch it out and hold up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. So this time, child's pose. It's just really going down. The heart goes <coughs> under. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. First thing you're going to do, I'm going to kneel back. The hands going to go behind. You're going to clasp them behind, just so you can see what that looks like. And you can raise the shoulders up slightly and back. Keeping those fingers interlocked. There we go. Just squeeze the shoulders together as you come up and then back down. Just go as high as you can, but making sure you maintain that neutral spine. Here we go. We're going to go for six of those. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you can't move them, For the next stretch, we're just going to lie down. So what we're going to do, you can either have your feet straight up or up, up to you, whatever is most comfortable. And the hands are just going to go up to the side. Okay, so that's the first thing. So the hands out to the side, 
I'm going to just put my legs up and just keep them there just so that I'm engaging my core a little bit more. I'm going to bend the elbows. What you're doing is the palms are facing up, the elbows are bent. You should keep your elbows in cross right with the floor and the shoulders the whole time. And we're going to extend up. Once your elbows start to come off the floor, that's the end of your motion. Come back. Back again. Bring those hands on the floor. Right above, come back. Keep those elbows on the floor. Once they start to come off, it means that that's the end of your motion. There we go. Just go as far as you can. If you can keep going all the way up with your elbows onto the floor, perfect. Keep it going. Lovely. And again, just going to do 10 of these. Back down. Seven, six, five, four, nice and slowly, three, two, and one. Our last stretch for the day is going to be an L arm stretch. So what we're going to do, we're going to go Going to show you just basically, just so you can see what that looks like. So we're going to go down into that child's pose again. But this time we're going to lie down. And what we're going to do with our hand is we're going to put this one hand out in front and the opposite hand is going to go down under. The reason it's called an owl is because we're creating that owl. So keep that hand nice and straight. And what we're going to try and do is come off and drop back. Come off and drop back. So when you come up, the shoulders should be in the same line. So we're going to do six reps. Okay, here we go. Let's go. One, two, three, four, and five, and six. So I'll bend over to the opposite side. Be nice and straight. One, two, three, four, Thank you to everyone that took part in today's shoulder mobility exercise. I hope that you're on your way to loose the shoulders and that it will improve your performance when you're lifting or doing any work that requires the shoulders. Thank you so much for taking part today everyone. I hope you enjoy those exercises and we hope to see you soon. Stay active, stay safe. Take care. Goodbye everyone.